I know it's not everybody's idea of a tasty treat, but I'm here to tell you that dried liver is no chopped liver. It's definitely an acquired taste, but I don't understand why this wonderful organ meat, one of the most nutritious foods on the planet, has long been reviled and used as a substitute to mean not all that amazing. Chopped liver is one of the best things you can eat. It is January 2023, and this time last year, I was recovering from a pretty intense physical ordeal involving some starvation on Alone Frozen. Drying liver and eating a little bit every day was a huge part of my recovery process. And also it was part of my preparing to go out there in building up my system so that it would be as strong and robust and full of vital nutrients and minerals as it could possibly be. Now, a lot of us have heard that liver is good for us during the anti-fat, low fat or die craze of the 80s, we were also told to stay away from liver because it contains cholesterol. But if you're moderate with your, the rest of your diet and mindful of your intake of really bad for you, simple and highly processed carbohydrates, then the amount of cholesterol in liver shouldn't be that big a deal. Also because our bodies do better with a regular supply of nutrients than a big blast all at once, it's better for us to have small amounts of really nutritious foods like liver regularly rather than a whole blast of them every so often, a lot of which we're going to end up peeing and pooping out. So drying liver and taking a little bit of a day, whether that be in pill form because you don't like the taste of it, or as I do a little bit in my bone broth, you can even eat it dried like jerky. It's a bit of an acquired taste, but I've come to really appreciate it. Eating a little liver every day is an awesome, awesome practice for your general health and well-being. <laughs> a little chilly on the hands be a little hard on the hands right now anyway it's pretty cold out but holding a chunk of frozen liver definitely adds to it gonna clean my hands with a little bit of frozen snow nature's hand soap right there <laughs> All right, so I'm going to walk you through my steps for making the best dried liver. Part of why I am out here in the snow doing this is to commemorate my time on Alone Frozen wearing the parka that kept me warm out there, but also because the best way to finely slice liver and meat for jerky is to have liver that was frozen and then slightly thawed so that it's not completely hard, but so that it's firm enough to really hold its shape. This is really helpful for meat, but especially important for liver because it's a really weird texture. It's a bit more gelatinous than actual muscle meat organs. They're a totally different animal than muscle meats. Also part of why they are so good for you. Before I dive into the hows of drying liver, let's talk about why. Now, Livers, yes, are the organ that is in charge of getting rid of toxins. So a lot of people have heard that liver could be bad for you because it could hold on to toxins. Very true if you are eating industry meats, but either animals that are raised on a pasture that is not treated or wild animals that are eating out of the wild, they don't have toxins that they're taking in. And the job of the liver is to flush the toxins out of the system, not to hang on to them. So healthy animals should have healthy livers. One of the other important functions of the organ that is the liver is being a storehouse for nutrients for the body. So animals store nutrients, important vitamins and minerals, as well as glycogen and energy source in their livers. Therefore, when you eat a liver, you are getting all of those nutrients, but you are getting them in a form that was designed to be readily accessible by animals. When we take pills as vitamins, often they are forms of the nutrients that are really hard to extract. I've actually heard that you can see centrum, like a once a day vitamin, move through the digestive system intact in x-rays because our bodies just don't know what to do with it. And they tend to go out in a not unsimilar form to the way they went in. So much better for you to get your vitamins and nutrients by eating healthy, vital foods than to take them in powdered pill form. My favorite way to eat my dried liver daily is just a couple pieces of thin sliced dried liver, basically liver jerky in my bone broth. Drink bone broth with extra collagen and powdered greens and all kinds of other great stuff. You can check that out in my other videos about my super health elixir bone broth. A little bit of dried liver is totally one of the prime ingredients. So I know it sounds weird and most people have probably even never considered something like dry and organ meats. How do we go about it? 
It's really super simple. Basically, you just need to have liver in a form that makes it easy to cut and then slice it really thin. And then if it's warm out or cold enough for freeze drying out, which would be below about 10 degrees Fahrenheit, you can do it outside using either the sun and wind or the freezing cold. I'm going to be using a dehydrator because where I am now, it's just under freezing, cold enough to freeze something solid, but not to freeze dry it. So I have my frozen and then partially thawed liver that I'm going to cut into thin slices and then lay out on my dehydrator tray. I like to use wild liver when I can. It's hard to get wild liver in enough quantity to fill an entire dehydrator unless you're dealing with moose or buffalo or something like that or have a whole lot of hunting friends who don't keep their livers. So what I'm using today is liver from lamb that's local to where I grew up. It's a beautiful farm that I visited. I've seen the lambs frolicking the pastures and they're eating just grass, good local grass with nothing on it. So I feel really good about the quality of these livers. And that's really important. You don't want to be buying industry liver if you can avoid it. Look for local pasture raised and animals with happy, healthy lives, because that's a whole idea is bringing that wonderful vitality into your body. I like to start on the long side and then I'm just using a very sharp knife. This is an awesome home forge knife made for me by a dear friend. Now, when I'm cutting muscle meat for jerky, I'm going to be very careful to cut against the grain of the meat. Organs don't have grain. So it's really just a matter of having the right texture of that nice and firm frozen liver and then a really sharp knife and being really careful as you go. Beautifully thin and consistently thin slices are what we're going for. As I get in towards the center of the liver, I'm going to be starting to get into some large ducts. They look like arteries and they are for the transport of the fluids in and out of the liver. So I'm going to want to cut those out because they make a weird texture and can definitely make people squeamish to find those in their dried liver pieces. While it's definitely hard on the hands to be cutting in cold conditions like this, it's also nice because if you're doing it in a warm kitchen, then it's going to be thawing on you quickly and it can be hard to have your slices consistently the right texture the whole way. Right here is one of those larger pieces of vein that's bringing the blood into the liver to be cleansed. So you wanna cut those bits out, just the little artery, the little connective tissue around it. There we have it, a whole lamb liver, very thinly sliced and still in a slightly frozen state, ready to move on to the next step. All right, I now have about eight lamb livers cut up. This is less than a quarter of them. It's a whole lot of liver, but that's what we're after. So now it's time to get it into the dehydrator. I'm a big fan of my Excalibur dehydrator. I bought this when I came back from Alone season six because all I did out there was think about food and all of the cool contraptions I wanted to be able to make more good, healthy food that I could have around all the time not surprising, right? What I like about this model is it's analog. It's just a little twist timer that works like an old fashioned egg timer and I can set it for up to 30 hours and it has 10 trays, each of which has a mesh that goes on top of a more solid screen. And I can fit a heck of a lot of food in here. Really, really efficient and liver dries really fast. So usually it's gonna be dry in about 12 hours, but I usually give it 24 just to make sure it's super crispy. So there's no way it's gonna mold on me. This is far too precious to risk. And the process is super simple. I'm just laying it out while it's freezing on me as I'm doing this, just laying it out evenly spaced with no overlaps and getting as much as I can fit onto each tray. How fast it dries is going to be a function of how thin I cut it and the setting on my dryer. But what I wanna do is actually dry it at a relatively low temperature. 
lower than the meat setting on some of them because I don't want it to cook. It's really important that this stays raw to keep as well as possible. And then also for some of the nutritional content, it's gonna be better at low temperatures. Some of these are a little on the thick side because some of the liver started thawing on me as I was cutting. It's gonna shrink and dry significantly because liver is a lot more moisture content than meat. So you're gonna see more shrinkage with the liver than you would see with meat. About like that, slide it in there. And then once the dehydrator is full, I'm gonna run it at 135 degrees, right on the edge of the vegetables temperature and turn the timer to 24 hours. Sometimes I check it part way and flip them, but I've actually learned that that's not as useful. It makes it dry a little bit faster, but some of the liver ends up sticking through the mesh. And if I let it dry 100% completely, then I get the whole piece of liver up and don't risk any stain in the mesh and me losing those parts. So now I'm just gonna let this go for a solid 24 hours. As you can imagine, I'm not going to be drying it out here. You want it to be above freezing wherever you plug your dehydrator into. So I'm gonna carry it to the house and then I will show you the results tomorrow morning. Okay, you guys, it is the moment of truth. I am about to reveal the liver, which has been drying for about 20 hours. Very handy that I can just pull the front of the dryer right off. Dun, da, da. Beautiful. Check it out, beautiful tray of perfectly dried liver. Absolutely dreamy. It's so perfectly dry that some of it is already just peeling off on its own. That's awesome. Less cleanup work for me. And it also means that I don't have any little bits that are gonna stay locked in the mesh. Absolutely perfect. Look how thin it is. Check out how easy it is to snap, unlike jerky, just boom right in pieces. It's a great sign when it peels off the screen so cleanly, so there's not a lot left in here. That's what we're looking for. Liver is such a different texture than meat that it just tends to crumble. So there's no point trying to store it as large pieces. I always break it up into smaller bits so that I can more easily put it into jars and travel with it. All right, I've got most of it crumbled up into this jar and the rest of it still waiting to be crumbled. I like to use the dark amber, they're really brown, I don't know why they call them amber, but the dark glass because light and heat and warmth is what tends to degrade foods. So anything that we can do to have less light on them is a really good thing. It's also why I use jars because obviously it seals out the air. You wanna make sure it's really, really crispy before you put it in here. So if you're in a climate like this, which is snowy right now, and it's a little bit warm, so there's a little moisture in the air, I like to give it one last blast in the dehydrator sometimes before packing in the jars. So real crispy is a good sign. Hear that crunch? That's what we're after. There you have it. What you are looking at is an amazing powerhouse nutrition. This is more potent than a bottle of vitamins and more digestible, way easier for your body to take up and getting your vitamins the way nature intended. Dried liver, it's worth a try. Thanks folks, enjoy. If you like what I do and you'd like to support it and be a bigger part of it, please consider joining my Patreon team. You get all kinds of inside scoops on what I'm up to. You get a deeper look into a lot of my projects and you get to be part of a greater community of folks who are interested in similar things like the wilderness skills, the homesteading, the land-based life skills that I teach and practice.